easy. Sorry last week I did not upload because I was taking a little break. Well today is in that week but I'm just not uploading this week. Um, but we are back working on 240Z so I've got a big plan for this video. Obviously the E30 is chilling, it's not doing much but um, if you've been watching the channel or you've been kept up to date this is my 240Z. Uh, it's been having a lot of carb issues and I believe it's the jets because at a certain point they just kind of wear out and you need to change them. So I've been speaking to this dude named Wayne and he also has an E30 and a Z. Um, surprising it's just random look that he had both cars but I was speaking to him about both um, and he patterned me with some SU carbs um, so hopefully he's gonna be patterning me with a five-speed transmission as well so we'll do that swap eventually but let's get straight into it so these are the SU carbs that he's given me obviously as you know this car or if you if you have been following the channel you would know that this car has some issues with the jets uh, but before we go ITB EFI we're gonna be running the SU's so my jets have an issue so the plan is to essentially take off these carbs, four bolts, four bolts. And if you want to watch this more in detail, I've done a whole rebuild series on rebuilding these carbs. So four bolts, four bolts, take them off, take out the linkages, swap out with a new linkage, change over some parts from the carbs, um, and then eventually just have two carbs and make a set that worked perfectly. Um, hopefully we'll be tuning it up and getting the car side. I've got limited sunlight, so we're just gonna get started. Uh, but if you like I said if you want to see a more detailed version of this video um, Just hop back on the channel and go watch the rebuild series But essentially the only parts I'm really going to be taking from here are the dash parts Because these ones look a bit better than the ones on their carbs um, I don't really know what else we'll figure it out along the way But essentially it's just the jets which is under here. I don't know if you can see it but um, these are sticking for some reason, they're just not the greatest. Um, probably due to age and how many miles this car has done, but it is what it is. So yeah, let's get started. All right, also, I finally got a tripod, so we can actually record proper videos, and you can actually see stuff properly. But for now, all we gotta do is remove four bolts, so that's four 12 mil bolts. I should have a 12 mil somewhere here. And then we can um, worry about taking the carbs apart and whatnot. But to start with, I just realized I've got to disconnect all these lines. So here are your two choke cables, um, two fuel lines, and then some vent hoses, uh, which go into this custom catch can that we put in. And if you want to see us install that custom catch can, just go back on the channel. But yeah, this should only take a second anyways. So, and with that, we are done removing all the um, hoses and Everything in place of oh, the trust. Now I should disconnect this throttle linkage so that should come on quite easily. Just like that. The throttle linkage disconnected. Oh, this one here, this is going to get in the way. So just like that. That can stay on there. And now, four bolts. Vacuum hose. There we go. Four. <laughs> now there's just four bolts that we just need to disconnect on each carb. So. I don't know if I took it out of shot, but that, there's one of your carbs, it's come off, taken the throttle linkage off with it, I'm going to be replacing this anyways, so put that down, set your carb down, make sure you have all your bolts, because I've dropped one of mine, so I'm going to have to find it, so I'll be back as soon as I've done that. Excuse the fact that the lighting is horrible in here, but we got one carb off. Now we just gotta take another one off and then put the new ones on and change some of the parts. It's pretty self, it's kinda of just like Lego. You know what, cars are just like Lego except with these cars there's no instructions and if there are instructions, sometimes they're just wrong. <laughs> but let's just get back straight into it. I'm so glad I have a tripod now because it makes everything so much more nice to record. I'm trying to get a good angle though. It's a bit hard. There we go. So. So let's just take this one off, just four bolts, just exactly the same process, 12 mil spanner, um, let's get straight into it. And so just like that, another one is off, um, this one has a little bit of fuel leak out of it, but what we're going to do now is clean up the area, 
get the new carbs, dip, put them on, tighten them down, and just go from there, I guess. All right, and so these are our brand new carbs. They're a bit dirty, so excuse the horrible lighting as well. The light's like right here. So I'm gonna take off these dash pots, put on the old dash pots, fill up the dampers with a bit of oil. You'll see that all in the video. Um, just clean them up a little. But these jets are so much better. Like I see the difference between my jets and these ones, and I can tell why the car's not running properly now. Um, so yeah, we'll just get these cleaned up, put on the car, uh, and turn her over and hopefully get her tuned up and then we'll go for a little drive. But that is also what I love about carbs is that they're so simple and easy to work on that literally anyone can do it. Like I don't necessarily know the most about mechanics um, as in mechanics as in like car mechanics but carbs like I've disconnected, rebuilt like these twice and, it, and they work pretty much every time. I say that and the car doesn't run, but um, yeah, hopefully, third time is the charm. So there's the last bolt going on this carb now. And so, now both new carbs are on, I want to take off these dash pots, um, clean the pistons, maybe change the pistons, because I have put new needles in the other one, but I know these carbs run perfectly fine. So, I might actually just kind of leave them as they are. I mean, that's the only difference. These ones are a bit cleaner and a bit more polished. But to be fair, for the time being, I'm not too stressed about them being super duper clean and polished. Because I'm just going to clean them and change them anyways um, at a later date. So, I might just keep these as they are instead of removing them. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to keep them as they are. I'm going to give them a good clean. I need to fill up one with oil. Let me have a look which one. I believe it is this one. This one needs some oil in its damper. So I'm going to go grab some oil, add some to it, and hopefully we can turn the car over and it should start after after we put all these back on. I just remembered I'm jumping the gun a bit here, but um, I'm just really excited. I can't lie to you. I, I just haven't but started this car in ages, so I'm super excited. The, camera, the camera's about to die, so I'm just going to attach these choke cables and we should be good to start her up. Alright, and so just like that, everything is all back together. I'm having a slight issue with my choke cables, um, but you know what, that's minor. Time to put some oil in this damper. Oh shit, I just realised I, I need to tighten down the carbs themselves. So let me do that, tidy up, because I'm stepping on parts all over the place. Tidy up this and then we'll start the car, hopefully. Okay, and so now is the moment of truth. After putting on the other carbs, I put the the um, fluid in the, in the dampers. I've connected everything, made sure everything's sound, tight. Uh, the choke cables are kind of an issue, but you know what? We don't need choke cables to start the car. So, here goes. Like, bro, I've been waiting to do this for so long. I just hope to God that it works. I've got my flow meter and everything ready. 240Z. Why are the seats so far full back? Right. Fuel pump is going. Alright. There it goes. I might have to prime the, uh, the carbs because there's no fuel in them. Pull the choke, maybe? Running. All right, and so this is where the issue occurs. I'm going to play about with the car. I mean, it is running. It's getting there. It's warming up a bit. These carbs haven't been using God knows how long, but because the uh, exhaust is so loud, I'm going to just do some work off camera quickly, try to get it tuned up with a flow meter. Um, and I'll come back when that's all done. To be fair though, I'm super excited because I don't know if you can hear me, but the car is actually running. This is, this is crazy. So yeah, we 
took the carbs off this car, put new ones on, and she started, and she was running, and she still does run. It will, it will run right now, I had it running two seconds ago, but it's not tuning correctly, and I really don't understand why. It may be a timing thing, I'm not sure. It might might be a, like a mix of all the things, but we have a new distributor coming for it, so that should sort out the timing. But other than that, we've got these carbs, and so I think what I'm gonna do is take parts off these carbs and just um, put them on them carbs and just go from there because I really don't know what to do at this point. I do have like a carb specialist coming out at some point. I mean, the car runs, don't get me wrong, and I'm very happy that it runs, and I'm very glad that it runs but it doesn't run properly. So that's why when I got the car started, I didn't get my hopes up way too much, just because I knew I could get the car started. Like, I could start them with these carbs, but it's just the tuning that was the issue. And thing is though, see um, this left carb here? That one seems to always be fine, and this right one always seems to be like over-leaking fuel. And so I thought that was a jetting issue, so I got new jets on these carbs, but it doesn't seem to have resolved itself. So I really don't understand what it is. So we're gonna figure it out. Um, but for the time being, I'm just gonna switch some of these parts onto there. But then again, like I said, like this last video that I probably posted, this is literally the reality of working on cars, man. It is very long, but um, you know, hopefully we'll get it started and be able to tune it properly. We'll see. All right, so I know the car looks beautiful. And I mean, bro, I'm just in awe, I can't lie. I always forget how good this car looks. But here's the issue that I'm having. So, on the carbs, obviously, this one is reading 10. Now, there's only one issue, this carb here. Now, I don't know what it is, if it's the linkage, if it's something else, if it's something in the manifold. I have no clue whatsoever. But for some reason... It just seems to be sucking so much more. That sound is so sus. But look, look, watch this. Cool, like, not much suction force on that, yeah? What the hell? Bruh, this one is like sucking my hand in. It is ridiculous. And the only way you can combat that is by adjusting this idling screw. Now, this idle screw does fuck all, because look, this you have to push up but how do we make that stay up and I looked at it and I was like oh the spring but the spring tensions are the same so it's not the spring so I have no clue how to make this carb on the left idle lower or take in less air I just don't understand it it doesn't make sense to me um, I don't know I'm gonna, I think we're gonna go take this for a drive fuck it we'll take it for one drive because I've never actually driven this like on the channel, I don't think. Let me put all these parts away, and we'll be back when we um, take this car for a drive, if it even... Sounds like it's going to die at this point, so I might just put it in the garage. We'll see. Hold on. So yeah, we're in the 240. I sit super close to the steering wheel, but... You see what I'm saying? It's, it's not revving the way it's supposed to be. Like... That is not a very responsive car, and it is supposed to be super responsive, especially the fact that it has carbs. Um, so, I don't think it's a good idea to drive it. You know what? We'll drive it, we'll, we will drive it like around here. We'll try to. I don't even know if that filmed very well, but um, that was a very abrupt ending. Uh, the camera's about to die, so you know what. Alright, and so as usual, we're back. Um, 
back home. The Z didn't drive very well. <laughs> you know what? I don't know why I was uh, expecting it to drive well. I mean, I knew the carbs weren't the best. Sorry, it just took me a second to turn that camera around. I'm trying to put them, the mic back on. I don't know if you saw, I might just import it now, but the, the camera like, kind of fell after I got back. So, um, yeah, I think we're going to call that that. I mean, I did as much as I could with the carbs. So I've got the actual carb guy coming out soon and hopefully he'll be able to help me. And if he's unable to help me, that means the Z just won't be running properly until we get EFI, which I hope is not the case because I really want to drive this car. I was supposed to drive this car tomorrow um, because I was supposed to get the carbs up and... I mean, the car runs and I could take it to the place. It's literally down the road, but it's just not running correctly. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a look at all these parts over here. Um, try to assemble clean everything, put them all back together in the best way possible. Um, also, look forward to installing all of that on this car. I mean, we might just end up doing all of that whilst this doesn't work, but who knows. You know what? It is a sad day, and I'm quite sad. So I'm just going to chill out in this garage. Um, if you made it to the end, congratulations. Um, I'm going to be giving away a car. No, I'm joking. I'm not giving away a car. I wish I could give away some cars, you know. Like, I just want to give the homies cars. That's the plan. Eventually, I'm just going to give away cars and give the homies better cars. So it'll be funny as hell. But look forward to more E30 drift content. I don't know if you can see it, like, through the little gap. I don't think you can. But, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe if you know anything that's going on with this car or have any tips for me to fix the thing. Then let me know because it's pissing me off. Um, but, you know, that's just the reality of cars. I'm going to keep quoting that video, bro, because that video is too funny not to. Um, I think I'm just going to put some spark plugs in this car. And you know what? No, surely that's not the thing. That's not the issue. I know my spark plugs are dirty, Anna, but I think, I think it's definitely just the carbs. I feel like the carbs are just fucked somehow. And then I change the parts. And then, anyway, I'm going to stop ranting and complaining. This video could go on for ages. And if you want to see me rant and complain, then... Um, just let me know in the comments and I will just rant and complain. But I'm going to put a bungee strap on my Corolla battery because I don't believe my battery is secured in properly, which isn't which isn't great, you know what I'm saying. But yeah, I'm going to put this purple bungee strap on my Corolla because uh, the battery's not held in place properly. But like I said, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you want to see in the future. Obviously, I'm holding the camera upside down at this point. E30 content coming forward. Coming forward? Coming soon. Um, we got a drift day booked essentially so it'll be pretty funny but oh, what well, i do love this car too much man I'm, I'm just gonna start waffling man i swear to god if you want to see me waffle more just let me know because these videos could be like 30 hours long bro the amount i waffle but yeah thank you for watching now but that's what i'm saying bro i could just waffle for like for ages so if you want to see more stuff like that just let me know man. anyway so take care everyone